Italy is embarking on one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in history. The construction of the world's longest suspension bridge, connecting the island of Sicily to the mainland. This project, once completed, promises to revolutionize travel, reduce isolation, and foster economic growth. However, behind the scenes, there are immense engineering, environmental, and political challenges that must be overcome to bring this vision to life. Let's dive deeper into the complexities of this mega project and what it could mean for Italy and the world. Sicily, the largest island in the Mediterranean, is home to over 5 million residents and contributes significantly to Italy's economy through agriculture, fishing, wine production and tourism. Despite this, the island suffers from geographical isolation. Though the Strait of Messina is only about 3 kilometers wide at its narrowest point, it represents a major barrier. For decades, traveling between Sicily and mainland Italy meant relying on ferries, which can take between 30 to 40 minutes under ideal conditions. However, delays and rough weather can make the journey even longer. Disconnecting the island from Italy's road network and Europe's larger transportation infrastructure, this isolation has serious economic and social consequences. Sicily's integration into the larger Italian and European economy is hindered, and the lack of easy access dissuades investment. The ferry system, while functional, is inefficient for large-scale transportation of goods and people, leading to logistical bottlenecks that have kept the island somewhat behind other regions of the country. The bridge, once operational, could completely transform this dynamic. It would connect the Sicilian city of Torre Faro with Villa San Giovanni on the Italian mainland, turning what used to be a lengthy ferry ride into a mere four-minute drive. This would bring Sicily into Italy's extensive highway network, drastically reducing travel time and costs, and boosting trade, tourism, and local industries. Moreover, it would allow uninterrupted travel from the southernmost point of mainland Italy all the way to northern Europe, further integrating Sicily into the continent's economy. The dream of a bridge connecting Sicily to the mainland is not a new one. As far back as ancient Rome, engineers have pondered ways to bridge the strait, one of the earliest recorded attempts dates to 252 BC, when the Roman consul Metellus supposedly built a bridge using floating barrels and wooden structures to transport war elephants during the Punic Wars. Though this ancient bridge was far from permanent, it showed that the idea of connecting Sicily to the mainland has been an ambition for centuries. Throughout the modern era, numerous proposals have been made to link Sicily to the rest of Italy. In 1969, the Italian government even held an international design competition, but none of the proposed solutions were feasible. Some proposals were wildly ambitious, like building an underwater tunnel akin to the Channel Tunnel between England and France. But the powerful currents and significant depth of the Strait of Messina, which reaches 250 meters at its deepest, made such an idea impractical. It wasn't until 1981 that real progress was made, with the establishment of the Messina Strait Company by the Italian government tasked with designing and maintaining the bridge. After decades of studies and planning, a comprehensive design was finally completed in 2006. Yet despite this progress, the project stalled for nearly two decades due to political disputes, funding shortages, and a host of other obstacles. The saying, I'll do it when the bridge to Messina is finished, became a common phrase in Italy to signify something that may never happen, an emblem of political procrastination. Now, after decades of delays, the project is back on track. With a price tag of $12.7 billion and construction set to begin in 2024, the Strait of Messina Bridge is designed to be the longest suspension bridge in the world. Its span will reach an incredible 3,300 meters, 1.3 kilometers longer than the current world record holder, Turkey's Kanakal Bridge. But the records don't stop there. The bridge will also feature two towering pylons, each standing 382 meters tall, which will make it not only the tallest bridge in the world, but also the tallest structure in all of Italy. To put that into perspective, these towers will be taller than the Empire State Building in New York City. The bridge will have a 60 meter wide deck, which will support two lanes of vehicular traffic in each direction, alongside two railway tracks in the center. This design will allow the bridge to accommodate up to 6,000 vehicles per hour, 
and 200 trains per day, the travel time between the mainland and Sicily will be reduced from 40 minutes on a ferry to just four minutes by car or train, opening up unprecedented logistical and economic opportunities. As impressive as the design is, building such a structure in this location presents unique challenges. The Strait of Messina sits directly on a major seismic fault line between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. The area has a history of devastating earthquakes, including the catastrophic 1908 earthquake that leveled cities and claimed over 80,000 lives. The epicenter of that earthquake was right beneath the planned location for the bridge. To mitigate the risk of earthquakes, engineers have incorporated several advanced seismic design features. The bridge's two massive towers will be anchored on solid ground rather than in the water, reducing their vulnerability to seismic activity. Additionally, the towers will be equipped with hourglass-shaped struts that allow the structure to flex during an earthquake, distributing the forces across the bridge's entire length. The span of the bridge itself, over three kilometers long, will also help absorb and dissipate seismic energy. Wind is another major concern. The natural shape of the straight funnels winds through the gap, often reaching speeds of 120 kilometers per hour, with gusts capable of causing havoc on a suspension bridge. To combat this, the bridge's deck will be designed aerodynamically, with three box girders acting like airplane wings. This design will help deflect wind and reduce the force acting on the bridge, allowing it to withstand winds up to 300 kilometers per hour, far stronger than any hurricane force winds the region is likely to experience. In addition to the natural challenges, the socio-economic context of Sicily and Calabria poses a different kind of obstacle. Both regions have long struggled with poverty and are the poorest areas of Italy in terms of GDP per capita. This economic disparity between northern and southern Italy has fueled the growth of organized crime, most notably the Sicilian Mafia, Cosa Nostra, and the Calabrian Andrangheta. These mafia organizations have a long history of infiltrating public projects, extorting businesses, and profiting from government contracts. Given the scale of the Messina Strait Bridge project, it's not far-fetched to think that they may attempt to interfere, either by controlling local businesses involved in construction or through extortion. The Italian government has acknowledged this risk, but insists that strict oversight and transparency will prevent organized crime from influencing the project. Italy's Minister of Infrastructure, Matteo Salvini, has gone on record saying that the best companies in the world will be involved in the project and that every precaution will be taken to ensure the bridge is built without mafia interference. Another concern is the environmental impact of building such a massive structure sure. over a sensitive marine ecosystem. The Strait of Messina is home to diverse marine life and the construction of a bridge could disrupt these habitats. However, the current design minimizes the bridge's interaction with the water. The structure will have just one continuous span over the strait, limiting the amount of in-water construction and reducing the potential for harm to marine life. This approach is seen as a more environmentally friendly alternative compared to a tunnel, which would have required extensive underwater excavation. The bridge will also be designed with sustainability in mind. The incorporation of rail lines will encourage greener transportation, reducing the reliance on cars and trucks to ferry goods and people across the strait. By integrating modern engineering solutions with environmental safeguards, the bridge aims to strike a balance between development and preservation. After decades of political wrangling, engineering challenges and public skepticism, the Strait of Messina Bridge is finally closer to becoming a reality. But many still wonder, will it actually be completed this time? The Italian government seems committed, with construction expected to begin in 2024 and an estimated completion time of six to eight years. However, the project's long and troubled history has left many Italians doubtful. As we've explored today, the Strait of Messina Bridge represents both a monumental feat of engineering and a source of significant debate. On one hand, its potential to revolutionize transportation and connect the mainland with Sicily could drive economic growth and improve accessibility. On the other, concerns about environmental impact, seismic risks, and financial viability 
raise important questions about its long-term sustainability.